the new country 96.3. Second. 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 Second date update. All right, we got Nick standing by. If you're new to the show, Nick had a great first date with Aubrey, but never heard from Aubrey after that. We're going to see if we can help him out this morning and perhaps get him an elusive second date. Let's start off with you. Uh, Nick, tell everybody how you met Aubrey. Uh, we met like a year ago on Bumble. Okay, a year ago. Wow, it's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, and you finally just went out after meeting a year ago on Bumble? No, we went out a year ago, but, uh, well, I got I to gotta fill you in. It was kind of a disaster of a date, but I thought she was special, so I want to give it another go. What happened on the day that it was a disaster? So, you know, we went out on the date, and everything was pretty normal and nice. And at the end of the date, she discovered that basically someone had backed into her car in the parking lot, and she got really upset. Like they had backed in and then left? It was like a hit-and-run type thing? Kind of, yeah. Only, like, we sort of discovered that I was the one who backed into her when I got to the restaurant. Oh, when you went to park, you backed into her car? Yeah. Did you know that at the time? No, I thought I had hit, like, I thought I had backed into, like, a, just like a... A random stone. person? <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I really didn't know I had backed into a car. I thought I literally, I thought I'd hit, like, you know those cement stone barrier, like... Oh, okay. You know, okay. Yeah, okay, like a blockade or something. Yeah, exactly. I see. And so all this was discovered at the end of the date, that A, her car was hit, and then B... You were the one that hit it and didn't even realize it. Right, and I fe- obviously I like fessed up uh, once I figured it out. I wasn't trying to hide that. Yeah, and that ruined your chance at a second date? Yeah, I mean, she got really mad at me, and then, you know, our insurance companies got involved. And, <laughs> oof, it, it was Yikes. a real mess. What a mess. So there was, suffice to say, there was no second date after that. No. Okay. Okay, so why a year later? Why has a year gone by and you're calling now? Well, I was on Facebook, and her profile popped up because we had mutual friends. And I was, like, you know, looking at her and thinking about her. And I went a year back because she doesn't, like, have that many posts at all. And she literally wrote, like, I might have just blown off a great guy because of an accident. So, Oh, so she wrote about it in her Facebook page a year ago. Exactly. Okay. So why didn't you send her a message or contact her on Facebook? Well, I tried to call her, but she didn't pick up. And I didn't want to just leave a text because I felt like that was kind of weird. And Facebook, she, she's really just not that active at all. She doesn't post a lot. So I didn't want to do it on that. I thought maybe you guys could help me out. All right. We'll get her attention. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, okay. Let's see if we can do something here. Let's see if we can maybe get you guys a second date or something, okay? Let's, let's give her a call. Awesome. Thank you. Hello? Is this Aubrey? Yes. Hey, this is the Hawkeye in the Morning Show on New Country 96.3. Can we talk to you on Hi. the air for a second? Yes, you can. <laughs> Have you heard our show? I Yes, I listen all the time. Have so, you? do you know why we might be calling you at this time of the day? Um, actually, I don't. I doubt I'm being called for a second date update or anything like that. Actually, you are being called for second date update. What? <laughs> yes. Well, I'm actually, I've been dating somebody and I haven't really been going out on like new dates. So, unless it's my boyfriend, I don't know who would be calling. Uh, no, it is, I don't think it is your boyfriend. No, no, actually. But you are confirming you're in like a relationship relationship. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, here's the deal. Actually, we got a call from a guy by the name of Nick that you went out with a year ago. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. And he told us everything that happened, that you guys had a really great date, but there was an incident in the parking lot after the date. Yeah, he hit my car. Yes. Yes, he, he hit your car. He hit your car. He didn't know it was your car when he hit it. Yes, he thought he hit a cement pole. I know. And I, and I totally overreacted. Like, he was such a good guy, and I just got so mad at him. And, oh, gosh, I, like, I like blew it. Maybe you didn't. Well, you got a boyfriend. Well, yeah. <laughs> Let's see where it goes. Wheels off, people. Here's the deal. You know how Second Day Update works. He's on the other line, and out of the blue, he decided to contact us, and he just wanted to kind of do a check-in and see how you were doing. He did? Yeah, he's yes. on. He, yes, he's on the line now. Can we bring him on this conversation? Um, yes, you can. <laughs> Nick, are you there? 
I am. Hey, Aubrey. Hi, Nick. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. My cheeks hurt so bad. I'm like smiling so hard. Oh. <laughs> How's your car? <laughs> you know, it recovered. It recovered. It's doing really well. <laughs> Nick, I don't know if you heard Aubrey told us that she's actually dating somebody right now. Uh, I did hear that. I'm so excited that you called me. It's just kind of bad timing right now. Um, uh, uh, I know. I just feel like I, I don't know. I missed an opportunity. I kind of always felt the same way, too. It was just such a special date, and I've, I've regretted it ever since. I, I blew it. I overreacted, and I blew it. Well, can we ask how, obviously, he might even be listening in right now. Can we ask how serious things oh are <laughs> in your other... Well, I'm just wondering, I mean, is this a newer relationship, or is this like a, hey, you know, I'm definitely going to be with this person? Because if it's not that serious, I would love to take you out again. Um, yes, I, I would love to as well. Uh, so that's a yes, you'll go out with me? Yes, yes, I will. Um, what about your boyfriend? Don't you have a boyfriend at the beginning of this call? You told us you had a boyfriend. I do, but Who cares about him? great, you know. You're breaking up with your boyfriend on this call because of second date oh, update? I am. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> We're not here to judge. We're know, just here to I try know, and get but... people to find love. Okay, I don't... Maybe at the price of abandoning other love. I don't really know. I'm Team Nick here. Nick, I'm on your side, but I just want to make sure, Aubrey, are you sure you want to do this? You said you had another boyfriend when we started this call, and I kind of hate to... Are you sure? That's all I'm asking. I'm, I'm absolutely sure. I've thought about this date and how I feel like I ruined it like every day, ever since. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> Well, what are you going to do about your boyfriend? You know, honestly, it really hasn't been a good relationship, so this isn't a difficult decision for me. Okay. All right. Well, we would like to pick up the tab for your guys' second date, and we'll call this a success story, I guess. So congratulations, Nick. You got another date with Aubrey. That's amazing. Thank you. I can't wait, Aubrey. I can't either. All right, you two hold on. Um, you know, our job is to get people back together. <laughs> Number one for New Country 96.3, Hawkeye in the morning. Yesterday on Second Date Update, we had Nick on the show. Nick wanted to go out with Aubrey. They dated like a year ago, and there was like a kind of a mishap at the end of their date, and he figured, you know, it wasn't worth the call. Yeah, she freaked out on him because he wrecked into her car. <laughs> yeah, in the parking in lot. In the parking lot, and yeah. she had a meltdown, and then yeah. that was it. They yeah. never spoke again. But then he actually just found her on Facebook by a happenstance and saw that she had written in Facebook a year ago, I think I may have blown my opportunity with a really good guy because I got upset over an accident. So he wanted us to call. So we called, and uh, Aubrey was really excited that Nick called. So excited that you called me. It's just kind of bad timing right now. Um, uh, uh, I know. I just feel like I, I don't know. I missed an opportunity. I kind of always felt the same way, too. Yeah, I mean, you can tell there was some chemistry. It was electric between the two of them when they started talking on the phone. But the bad timing that she was referring to was that, you know, it's been a year and she had been dating somebody. So then <laughs> you, Caitlin, <laughs> ask this question. Can we ask how serious things oh, are <laughs> in your other... Well, I'm just wondering, I mean, is this a newer relationship or is this like a, hey, you know, I'm definitely going to be with this person? Because if it's not that serious, I would love to take you out again. Um, yes, I, I would love to as well. Uh, so that's a yes? You'll go out with me? Yes, yes, I will. Um, what about your boyfriend? Don't you have a boyfriend at the beginning of this call? You told us you had a boyfriend. I do, but Who cares about him? Great, you know. Yeah, so that was it. She said she was going to call his boy, the boyfriend later and break up with him. Look, I love love. Uh-huh. And you, I could tell there was something between them. And you never know. And it, look, we ended up finding out that she said the relationship hadn't been that great. Yeah. And she was looking to move on. It's a yeah. good thing I asked. Yes. So anyway, that's how it kind of ended. And a lot of people said, we'd love to hear from the boyfriend. Well, we didn't really even know who the boyfriend was. But later in the show, kind of near the end, we had kind of pretty much gotten off the air for the most part. The boyfriend called us. And this was that call. Hey, is this the station that does second date update? Yes, it is. Yes. Well, can I tell you guys what happened to me? I know it's not a an update, but I mean, it kind of is on my life. Uh huh. Yeah, let's see how we can help you. 
Well, my girlfriend, Aubrey, for I don't know what reason, broke up with me. It totally came out of left field. I didn't even see any of this coming. And then get this. Get, so my friends started calling me, sending me text messages that, that they heard Aubrey on, I guess, your show. She's been thinking about going with this other guy. Uh, okay. Let me explain what happened, sir. We had our second date update segment. And some guy said that they went out with Aubrey, I guess, a year ago, well before you started dating her. They had There was some incident or something. They ended up never going out on a second date. He called and wanted to talk to Aubrey. We put the two together, and they decided to go out on a date. She did say she had a boyfriend, but she said the relationship was kind of on its last legs. Oh, well, guess what? That's news to me. I thought we were in a perfect relationship. Until then, she talked to you guys, and my friends were telling me that you guys were telling her. Yeah, break up with that guy. No. It's your fault. No. That's not really how it went down. We just asked her if y'all's relationship was serious, and she acted like she was ready to move on from it. Everyone kept telling me that it was you guys that put it in her head to break up with me. Sir, that did not happen. You know what? I just wanted to tell you guys that your show sucks. I just can't believe that you guys just try to supposedly get people together, and here you are breaking us up. We had a perfect thing going. Once again... This was Aubrey who made this decision. She made this decision alone after talking to this other guy. They contacted our show, and we're, we're just kind of the middleman here. Yeah. The, it, it, yeah, it had nothing to do with us other than we faci- we had them talk to each other after their date. You know what? Whatever. You guys are just a bunch of f- liars. So that's how that ended. So Catch Second Date Update live. Stream Hawkeye in the morning on NewCountry96.3.com or by using the New Country 96.3 app. And join us for more fun with our Best of Hawkeye in the Morning podcast and our new Travel with Hawkeye podcast on our website, HawkeyeOnAir.com slash podcast. That's HawkeyeOnAir.com slash podcast.